Welcome back. I'm with Ryben, and you can currently see something way, way over there in the distance, which kind of gives away. We're in point one four three right now, and uh, <clears throat> we're just messing around with the new activation block. The activation block is lots of fun, and uh, you can consider you this wireless redstone, if you will. But I think it's better. Anyway, it's very easy to use. I'm going to demonstrate the concept real quick. We have right here a light and a door. I have selected the activation module with C and then pressed V on each. We now, when we hit the activation module, you'll notice the light turns off and the, and the door opens. So taking that concept, we can make an airlock that functions a little bit more like an airlock. And with the help of Ryben, we've put a knock gate at the top here. And you put another gate here? I tried to connect up the back. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to want to do it, but I'm guessing that's just... Oh, that's okay. Problems. Well, we've only literally just come up with this idea, so I'm sure a little bit of thought will uh, so we'll, get the back we'll door. So we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend, pretend but... there's a back door. But anyway, we're going to show them the uh, basic idea here. So you can put Go ahead and switch. jump in, I'll, I'll flip it for you. Alright, you can hit the switch wherever you want, so he's going to hit the switch. In I go, Shoot. lights on, and then I can go through the next door. What I think we need to do, can you uh, attach another activation block? You should be able to chain door. the activation blocks. You can chain them. You should uh, be able to. Oh wow. That so should you... be how you can right. connect the back door. My mind's Just chain an activation block and then run it through a... Um, an or or a knot. Let's do that. And right. got it. Now I'm gonna chain this one. I'm in the airlock, bro. And we're gonna go. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Mind you, I'm recording all this as well, because why wouldn't I be? One. Alright. Oh, okay. That's fine. Alright, oh, so I got that. Yeah. How's the weapon thing supposed to work? Alright, here we go. Okay. Opens now, the door. Now I just have to show you guys how to use the FTL. What? <laughs> what? No. What? <laughs> okay, so, so chaining activation blocks doesn't really seem to work very well. That's okay, we can give it but a little that's more. That's perfectly fine. That's the demonstration anyway. You hit the switch, the door opens, the light comes on. That's yeah. that, that's the concept. You know, people can play with that at the end of the day. Keep, keep in mind, you guys also are playing around with the demo. Oh yeah, exactly. This is an early, yep. early version of what we're going to end up getting. But I'm just stuck. But it's awesome. The possibilities are endless. So this is my test run using delay blocks. We have a light, a hull, a light, a delay block, and so on all the way up. So let's just try this out. We're going to turn it off. Oh my god. And now we're going to turn it on and turn it off. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, spam it a few times. Spam it a few times. Okay. Oh, dude. <laughs> wow. That was really cool. It's like you send a light pulse up it. Yeah. It's a signal light. Amazing. <clears throat> and my dude. theory is, if I put, if I was to put, you know, layers around each of these purple hull mm -hmm. and then the delay, it's going to look like a proper little coil type thing. Dude, uh, our PvP minigames, especially yeah. like Capture the Flag and stuff. Yeah. Or uh, tower control. Oh yeah, because you can suddenly have it turn green yeah. or turn red. Yeah, it'll be really uh, easy to this delay. No, 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 no. Have this delay block here selected, and then start building plex doors because of course this could have been like you know the entrance to an arena. Oh, I don't know if that'll work. Let's find. I out. don't know if it'll. I don't know if it'll automatically highlight those. No, it doesn't automatically highlight them, but um, that's okay. You can group select them, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm just about to try it. Control Alt V. No. Control. Sorry. Control Alt V. Control V. Con Shift control v. v. Control V. Shift V. Control Shift V. Control. No, you can't do no, you group can't. selections. You've got to. Oh, fine. You... That's fine. I don't mind. But linking just one activates the whole group, doesn't it? No. No, but that's fine. Is there doors? See, so, yeah, I'm thinking. Right. I think Raven knows what I'm thinking. If I just... I know exactly what you're thinking. I'm pretty sure at this Wait point. for it. Oh, wow. And different lights. 
Alright, alright, go again. Go again. It's gonna the lights are gonna go off. And it should Yeah! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no way! So that means like, you know, for example, Sabre's racetrack, he could just push what about one gravity? button. Oh, and what about wait, what was gravity? That? He said, "What about it, gravity?" If, if if you activate a block that triggers a gravity block, does it target you, or does it have trouble? Because that was ah, something I was worried about. Will testing. it know what player to hit the gravity with? Testing does the range okay. matter? Okay, we're gonna try range. We're gonna be there. If you want to play with the light bar, you can, because that might be interesting. Oh yeah, true, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, I built that light bar for whatever you want to use it for. They're all linked, aren't they? Right, I'm gonna unlink yeah, them. Yep, yeah, they're all linked. 